Ferengi Borg would just straight up be microtransactions. <laughs> NFTs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin, that's Jordan, and that is Pedro. And together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, watching us live on Twitch, helping us form, you know him, you love him, bifurcated Kane, 2 Kane, Voltron. Gentlemen, we're in deep in to 2023. It's practically over. Christmas is done. Pedro's about to think about putting up the tree. And. <laughs> I was thinking of, you know, taking it down, but yeah, yeah, I suppose I can put it up again. <laughs> put it up again. I mean, come on. I mean, it's like taking a laptop apart, isn't it? Just put it right back together. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Can, <laughs> can you can you like put Christmas lights in the next laptop that you reassemble? I don't to know. Make it like super obnoxious. If there's enough room inside, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't even don't even plug them in, just cram Christmas lights in there. <laughs> you see, this is the real problem, man. We we need to ban uh the, the Christmas trees because it's getting kids hooked on the RGBs early. Mmm, yes. Uh, yeah, that, 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 the, the that's, that's where it starts. Yeah. It's ah oh, yes, it's it starts as a harmless Christmas fun, and then your entire house is covered in blinking lights, and your electricity bill is through the roof. So Why we do have Santa? CES Why? this week, right? CES, and that's the big. It's been happening. A yeah. lot of people are jumping at a lot of cool stuff, and uh, I saw uh, I the, the the laptop, the the foldy one. That see, I want that. Uh, they made the okay. They made the laptop. I would buy the laptop. Like that doesn't make sense. You wouldn't buy a laptop. You don't like keyboards. Aha! It's just got a laptop on the other side. Well, well I, I, it has I like two touchscreens. I, li- I like the you stand that is. Out. I like the stand that is a keyboard with a triangle. And I saw that. I'm like, hold mm-hmm. on. They make a laptop with a triangular mount. No, it's the stand. Okay. <laughs> like, I, I, what, what, what kind of CES bullshit is? Oh no, no, that's. Um, yeah. No, to be like slightly back on that same click is, uh, I, I think it might have been Corsair or Aurorus or something. They made a, a soundbar, AI powered soundbar. This is what, like, what? And it's supposed to like directionally change depending on like where you're at in the room. Okay. And interesting. Like, no, the, it had to have been Corsair because I looked at it and I'm like, it doesn't have RGBs. And I scrolled down and they had a picture of it lit up. And I'm like, okay, never mind. All right, never Fine. Fine. It does have RGBs. Look, it it lo- looks like something out of uh, Close Encounters, it, right? Like- it was as ridiculous as I <laughs> dreamed it would be. So, gentlemen, um, just to play a little bit of catch up, see what we've been up to. If you were watching um, Thursday, I finished the Steam Rectangle build. I went back, you know, got the fan, got the cooling back in it, swapped out the SSD with an NVMe. We went ahead and reinstalled Debian. I set up all the audio stuff. We got Steam up and running, 5600G. Nice, smooth. I edited all that down to about a five-hour video. Took out any, like, duplicate bits because, you know, it was two separate streams. So if you want to watch that, that's currently up in the announcements channel in our Discord. And uh, it'll go public probably Friday, something like that. But speaking of things, for our patrons, I'm going to try something tomorrow. It's a bad idea. That's what we do here. That man wake <laughs> it gets me out of bed in the morning, man. I'm like, that's a horrible idea. That's gonna end in fire. Oh man, let's get on it. Um, <laughs> backseat editors, <laughs> pause, dude. Add more star wipes. You know more what? star wipes. You know what? I I want I want to stop and I legitimately from the bottom of my non-existent cavernous area where my heart should be. I genuinely want to thank both Pedro and Jordan for providing assists. On the rectangle build, because, like, here's the reason you, you got to sit with it because ninety eight percent of it's like, yeah, I fucking no, dude, I, it's, come on, it, yeah, but it's that one little bit and that other little bit, like, thank you, you just saved me a ton of time. Yeah, so save save, save you save you a Google search. Um, even yeah. Google search, you're like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, the left yeah, angle. There, yeah, there, there's there's an extra cable in there, yeah. All, 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 they always come with the right angle ones mm-hmm. and the and the straight through. Yep. So I like seriously thank both of you and everybody else who participated in that. Uh, a couple of people even watched it, and that that was interesting to you know, a build a small form factor. It was the first time I've ever built a small form factor or anything, and I'm sure they're smaller than that, way smaller than that. Uh, I know I've seen those. I'm, I'm I'm still sad there was no blood. Uh, no, <laughs> blood, See, blood, that blood, case blood. flimsy as it was apparently was uh, rounded off enough that there was no blood. <laughs> rounded off. I didn't have to clean any icor off. Like 
Uh, no, I didn't want to have to mess with that. Uh, glad I got together. <laughs> Linux is easy to install. We had it up and running steep. Like what? From putting in the thumb drive to get Debian on there to running yeah. steep might have been 20 minutes. And, yeah, installing Linux is super fucking boring. Right. <laughs> yeah. It is. Even a fiber optic card. I'm like, how do you do that? You pluck it in the hole. There was a little bit of drama <laughs> because you need to, you can't just plug the thing in. You have to reboot the switch and then this. Yes, okay. You have to enable it first. <laughs> This switch, for whatever reason, it's probably done it a total of maybe five times since I've had this fiber switch. Two of them were back to back. Of you'll plug in, um, and it doesn't matter. I, I was even using a uh, twin axe cable, you know, like copper cable instead of a fiber module, just because I was in here and I don't want to run like fiber just from here to here. And uh, it was like, nah, nah, nah. I was prepared for it the second time. I'm like, all right, fine, power it off, power it back on. But that was fun. That'll be out for everybody else uh, probably Friday, but Sunday tomorrow. I'm going to try to do a... Because one of the things I do, pretty much everything's kind of packaged now, because you know, I've done this once or twice, and bring everything into DaVinci Resolve and kind of just like, hey, if you want the quick... I, would, I, want, I want to watch the bootleg version of LGC. I want to see it get made. Um, yeah, going through the timeline, getting everything chopped up with DaVinci Resolve, which is me chilling out in here and, you know... That's going to be a rough thing to get set up. We're going to be doing it on YouTube. I'm going to be streaming in um, 2160p. Threadbooper is not the system to do it, but I got to I gotta find what the failure points are. So I, I think I got a way to get the audio from Threadbooper into Jackbox and back out to you guys. That was like my big hang up. When you say bootleg LGC, like it just immediately, my brain immediately jumps to, we need to like sell VHS copies of the podcast and oh, cassette <laughs> copies of the podcast for like the audio See, vision. Okay. Yeah. I was talking, I live in Athens. I'm around a lot of musicians. So I have conversations about like, you guys are, what's it cost to get uh, an album put on tape these days? I know these mm -hmm. numbers and I'm like, hmm, mm. how much is a single? See, <laughs> here's what bothers me. Here's what bothers me, everyone. I was like, yeah, we could put a, you know, we can get an LP uh, cassette tape, put an episode of Linux Gamecast Weekly on it. Can we get a Laserdisc, Linux Laserdisc Gamecast? The problem, Jordan, is people will buy it. Yes, of course. <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, we, 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 we want people to, like, spend their money in irresponsible ways, right? <laughs> <laughs> start up pa patreon.com yeah patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast start up Linux Gamecast.com <laughs> sub to us on Twitch yeah, yeah. thank you uh <laughs> no because <laughs> we're not doing we're not doing set tapes and I couldn't find it sm okay. smash that subscribe <laughs> button fam for when you want your podcast in a truly hipster friendly format no 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 stream, we, 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 we gotta we gotta do a track Okay, so I, I'm getting to the fact that I've already, that was where I went. It's like, I, that's, this is where my line is for like novelty. <laughs> I'm like eight tracks novel enough to where like people would just buy that to have it as, mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I'll do an eight, couldn't find anybody to do an eight track. Ah, boo, boo, <laughs> rubbish. So uh, yeah, no time, anything set tomorrow for that. Uh, just kind of keep an eye out in discord for the announcements if you see me pop up it might be like a 20 second stream of like well we tried <laughs> but hey we learned, yeah that's how we learn stuff that's but i want to do stuff like that so people can pop in a to see media production being done on linux and being like come in with questions and like hey how do i do this how do i do this or this how the sausage is made that's why i like to do this it's educational stuff i know we like say naughty words and do all the other stuff but there's another side of it too how about you jordan no, I just say the naughty words. That's, that's literally the only reason why you I'm play here. Borderlands fuck on fuck Thursdays. Fuck How did that go? I <laughs> did. We we played some Borderlands. It went back to play playing Borderlands. Uh, I, I got I gotta say some some of these levels are just like very very extended. They they seem very stretched out. But we're mm. we're we're uh, we're we're chugging along. I, I was talking about it in the pre pre super show too. The other thing I'm trying to get working is net play for fucking emulators. Cause we we've, we've been we've been talking about it for a while. So we we just wanna we just wanna play some Golden Axe, and we don't want to do it over Steam Remote Play. So you want to play Golden Axe? I, I want yes, some Mortal I, Kombat too. Okay, yeah. Uh, but yeah, trying trying to get Kyra working under Linux and like yeah, it's it's interesting. I I haven't I haven't really gone too far into it, but I I got a server running and I got a client connected to it. That's about as far as I got. Mm. How about like remote USB? 
USB over um, WAN. USB over 2G. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, see, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know about that because um, what, what do you call it? the 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 the, ar- the architecture is like you run you, like you have one, you have the server running, and then you set up the host to connect to the server, and then the client also connects to the server, and then it serves out the the input or something. That like I, I'm not an expert on this, but. Yeah. USB that, over network.com. Share and access your USB devices over now. Hmm. I, I'm just thinking like we do. I'm thinking like a comedy thing to try to oh, yeah. play something I, with remote <laughs> shared screen. Oh, man. Yeah. I well, mean, what's, what, do, do the AB the test of remote, remote, remote play, play versus. <laughs> yeah. What, 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 is, what is worth? Re- remote Pedro, we're trying remote to play or USB worse. over IP? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And you, well, you know, you. And, we, we I set up live stream. We strap you into a dentist chair. Suffering is entertainment to them. <laughs> I mean, Fair, suffering yeah, is entertainment. No, they, period. Us, they paid money to watch us go through trying, so I guess. Yeah. Oh man! Oh D and D man. Speaking of uh, things, we got to go through eventually at some point. Um, right, Dar- Dark Alliance. Yeah, that's <laughs> de- de- Dead Alliance. Dude, I, I guess it's still going to go. What they're going to make? Baldur's Gate three. How about you, Pedro? You're back from the dead once again. I am. I want to thank. Uh, Mr. Fox Dog for uh, covering for me last week. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, I was disappointed that he didn't say anything too controversial. So uh, <laughs> maybe next time. Well, it helps uh, when you're like, if you say anything, I have to manually edit out of the show. I'm coming there. <laughs> very easy, easy things. Because he didn't want to hug for some reason. <laughs> I was, I was going to come over and play Sonic the Hedgehog. It would have been great. <laughs> But no, no, thank you, thank you very much, uh, Foxy. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, no, I actually finished writing the um, written review for the alpaca. Now I just need to get an hour or two to set up for video recording, so that I can have the uh, the video version done too. Um, yeah, it's I it's spoilers. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> It's not perfect, uh, and the um, very, very um, prototypey type of construction. It's it, it needs improving, but I'm sure uh, they're already looking at improvements. So, very much looking forward to those. But yeah, no, as a DIY, completely DIY, completely open controller that you can print for yourself, you can get the PCBs done for yourself. That's a very good start. Does it make start. you want to buy a 3D printer? Uh, many things make me want to buy a 3D printer. This is just another one. <laughs> I keep fighting this. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't have room. The problem is I live in a very, very tiny apartment, and I don't have the room to put a 3D printer in. But what I if you 3D <laughs> print yourself some storage? Then you can solve the problem. Yeah. I don't have access to the fourth dimension, Jordan. <laughs> Dude, here's the well, thing. Well, I mean, I mean, that sounds like a personal around. problem. Like, <laughs> like I, I love the idea of being able to print everything for the controller. That's awesome. Yes, but you can. Yeah, you genuinely can. In, I've spent the better part of two years. That would be object number three that I could come up with that I 3D print. The only, the hardest bit to find for it right now is that they're using the um, the Pi Nano Pico Pico. Mm. Um, as the microcontroller, but there are other projects that also use the um, the brains of the Pi Pico, the RP twenty forty, in other microcontroller boards, and those are slightly easier to find. I mean, I could swap that. Like that'd be hot, easily to like swap out with like a forty six laptop one. Yeah, <laughs> if you could get. <laughs> if it's, you could it's get gonna be an a very heavy laptop yeah. in about this form factor. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I got duct tape. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, you, you know, it's it's the TARDIS ATX fourth factor, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yar. All right. Um, do the Spe- thing, yeah. Jordan. Do the Spe- thing. Say the same. Speaking thing. speaking of Tashi Yar, black goop, just like the horse. It's the steam. Will Smith. Steam Wars is here presenting Will- your. What, get your joke out, or you're not going to stop. Say, no, I stopped. I'm, I'm done. All right. Steve it's, Wars it's a, presenting. No, told you. <laughs> <laughs> you killed it. It's dead. Uh, that's how it feels, buddy. Uh, so, uh, Steve Wards presenting your winners for this year, and no one has any contentions with any of the categories. 
which we have quite a few categories, Game of the Year, VR, Game of the whatever, Labor of Love, Better with Friends Outstanding, Visual Style, Most Innovative Gameplay, Best Games You Suck At, Best Soundtrack Outstanding, Story Rich Games, Sit Back and Relax, and the Steam Deck one. Because, come on, Val, you might have the best game on the go. You mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Death Stranding, the, 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 the walking simulator? The Steam Deck one. Uh, of course, Game of the Year is Elden Ring, which is pretty <laughs> awesome. You know, it, it has the advantages of being tough, but hey, at least it's not very fun, so you don't have to worry about that. The- but... but- you, you you do get to you do get to summon your orthodox reform rabbi bill clinton you know? right um, <laughs> and they straight up call you a maidenless tarnished so uh the game insults you on top of killing your <laughs> what did we have in contention dying light 2 the kitty cat game got a war and call of dude bros too spooky for your edition um yeah uh, oh uh yeah Do- dome keeper we, we all had a little bit of dome keeper because yeah for yeah. Uh, most innovative gameplay out of all of those games Dome Keeper was the one we actually all played, and it was it was pretty good. Like we all went in like ah, it's just another crappy tower defense, and we 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 all came, turned, came around being like, wow, this is actually uh, a really tight actually, gameplay loop. Yeah, very tight. Yeah. The mechanics themselves were nothing new, but the, the way that they all worked together and the way that they were all integrated, it worked really really well. It, it was a fresh mix on tower defense, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dome Keeper should have totally won that innovative gameplay award, and. Um, as much as I love uh, Norman Reedus's creepy fetus, uh, <laughs> thank you for that, Jordan. Uh, the best on the go should have totally been um, Vampire Survivors. Hang on, as I skip around, giving a minute, everyone, <laughs> and we'll get there. Um, here we go. Uh, what else? What, yeah, it was Vampire you, you, Survivors. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. <laughs> See, see, like, b- b- see, both both of the card games make sense because, like, that's the kind of shit you play on the go, right? Mm-hmm. It is not, 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 not Death Stranding, not, not Norman Reedus's post-apocalyptic daycare. I do yeah, gotta no. say, uh, I didn't take too much of an issue with Outstanding Story Rich. We got Plague Tale, Requiem, Uncharted. I, I vote for, uh, voted Stanley for the Stanley Parable, Parable on that one. Ultra Deluxe, <laughs> which I mean, in all fairness, I mean, uh, kind of thing. then we had, then again, Spider Man Remastered. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Got a War, uh, Boy of, uh, Son of Boy da, or whatever. Dad of Boy. Dad of uh, Boy. I enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, man, time is weird because it was like, that came out last year. Whoa. Okay. Uh, best soundtrack. Final Fantasy and the Elden Ring. Uh, okay, here's the one. Here's the one that just set me off a little bit. Okay, this, the kitty cat, the three hour long, okay, six hour long, if you're slow. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can say Strider. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah, in, in, in innovative gameplay, like, there, there's a lot of stuff you could, like, give, give stray recognition for, but I really don't feel like the gameplay was any, like, super revolutionary part of it, especially because it's not, like, actually a cat simulator. It's a pretty guided, like, linear experience. Yes. It, the thing and it has w- contextual jump buttons. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, I was kind of, I was like, oh, so I get to, like, jump around this cat and all that. Then I watched some gameplay. I was like, oh, no, you go to a point, then it gives you another point, then you press a button that does the textual jumping fuck <laughs> and, and yeah and it, it's like the 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 this the, the, it gives you like a, a a nice little like theme park ride i want to say like like a, like a mm-hmm. like a railroad of like uh of like all the all the little cat stuff you can do but yeah it's not in in terms of in terms of gameplay again like dome keeper bring it bring it up it, it combines a lot I of mean, it did some very, very disparate elements into like a very mm-hmm. tight package like, I'm, I'm also gonna throw um neon white like the the speed running n- one yeah. not a linux game but it did some interesting stuff with the card mechanics and for first yep. person card yeah first person shooter slash card game like what mm-hmm. first person card based <laughs> speedrunner is not a, a, a thing that you would expect <laughs> to like work but lo and behold right like, that that's a little bit different i'm unfamiliar with like tear down but yeah stray uh but hey this is the people's choice right that's how it gets votes that's why i have nice things <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, well you, you know, you can, you can close your eyes and embrace the darkness. <laughs> you can, absolutely. And you might actually be able to make things out in the darkness going forward on Linux. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't believe it. Uh, yeah, that w- remains to be seen. But uh, yeah, you may have seen the tweet from uh, Pierre Le Prefet earlier in the week th- to say that uh, Josh Ashton froggy boy extraordinaire you may remember uh he was the person that was behind d9vk originally now one of the major contributors to dxvk and vkd3d 
and he's uh, bringing HDR uh, to for real games, and by real games, uh, Pierre Lou there means um, I played Proton? a Trek Mania <laughs> track like that yesterday. Was that HDR? It looked just like this shit. Pr- no, predator the, vision the, yeah that is the heat map to show the light concentration of course that's it's a how- heat map it's got norman's reed is in it man <laughs> yeah <laughs> but apparently you, uh norman reed is real cold not, <laughs> he's giving not. us the cold treatment <laughs> but yeah it is yeah hdr for proton will be available uh for rad v originally because that's what um josh has so that's kind of the first thing that they got to work and yeah, the Norman Reedus, Deep Rock Galactic, Death Stranding, and a few others. I was trying to think of like actual Linux native games that had HDR. Half Life Two had a software implementation of HDR, mm. but it can't actually make use of hardware HDR. So yeah, we'll, we'll it'll be Proton games mostly. I think HDR supports kind of neat because like, even if you don't realize it, you probably have at least one HDR monitor in your mix. You know, yeah, yeah. K- kind of like FreeSync. That that's, <laughs> that's everywhere now. Oh, Pedro, I, mean, I, I got the good for one free- for you though, Pedro Mateus. I can have HDR or FreeSync. I have to pick my children. <laughs> Your favorite child. It disables the other if I enable one. I, uh, okay, yeah. I, no, my TN monitor can can do HDR 800 and FreeSync. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah. Here, here's the thing about HDR for me is like Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon kind of soured me on it because I wanted to be able to watch those TV shows on my HDR screen mm-hmm. on my HDR TV and I couldn't because I couldn't see what the fuck was happening because it was so dark. <laughs> so, um, and it's so you completely know, mess up like what we used to do with the CRTs uh, back in the day, especially yeah, like playing the, Doom the with the brightness yeah. and contrast because mm-hmm. you couldn't see. We bring those back on digital displays. We need brightness and contrast little wheels where you can just reach under. Yes, and actual it up real quick. wheels yeah. so that we don't have to navigate through the. Oh God, man, can, that's uh, on the capa- back. Heads up, capaci- <laughs> So so yeah, you know you know I will I will take the fucking back nipple. The capacitive controls for me are the worst because like they never register. You're yep. hitting that one little thing like eighteen times. Like come on, it's come like, on, come on. <laughs> you know what I think? We've just came up with the one legitimate use case for a touchscreen monitor. <laughs> yeah, OSD. <laughs> yeah, like right on there, so you don't have to mess with it. And you can use little sliders and stuff. Yeah, that would be that would be nice. No, no, MSI. I didn't say put more RGBs on it. No, quit. <laughs> no, 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 listen, listen. You can have that monitor for two twenty four hundred dollars, G Sync only. Didn't they just release like a fifty inch, like super duper ultra wide, like laughable? Like you guys really made that? I'm like, yeah, we did. I, uh, you, you know, that doesn't surprise me. Mm. Uh, it, it, well, it's it is CES, so yeah, yeah. they probably announced yeah. something like that. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Um, it, 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 it's too plausible for me to doubt. <laughs> Not as plausible as this, man. Uh, Steam event. What kind of event? Steam events? We don't know, man. <laughs> we don't know. MMO bomb. Uh, speculation abounds. Steam and DB. We, we talk about Steam DB on the show pretty regularly. It's a good way to find out what, you know. Not as good as it used to be because they nerfed it a little bit, but it's still a good way to find out what's going on behind the scenes in Steam repos. In addition of, and I quote, Valve event upload config app. Uh, this can only be created by Valve. And of course, the internet's going to internet and speculation abounds on what does it mean? Let's get out the red yarn, uh, the tea leaves, and it's uh, <laughs> Pepe probably, Sylvia! Pepe uh, Sylvia! the wheel of Booga Booga for the first time uh, in 2023. <laughs> it's obviously Half-Life 3 Orange Box Edition. You know what, Valve? I will love you forever if this is Ricochet 2. Come on, Ricochet 2. Come on, come on, like VR Ricochet with like maximum Some motion sickness. Some people would be happy with Ricochet 2, Jordan. It, yeah, it, it, I mean, if it was a VR, man. Like, l- l- listen, see now I, that I, he said that, I'm worried a little bit. I'm like, shit. Yeah, I, 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 abracadabra, I have spoken it into existence. No, it's the long-awaited sequel to Codename Gordon, Gordon, Codename Gordon to Gord Harder. Uh, so, so, someone, so uh, there, there's a there's a Twitter thread for this as well. The XPod, the guy who runs SteamDB, was posting about this, and there were a couple people theorizing. I think the most plausible one is. Uh, so, some someone brought up um, that it might just be a way for like individual games to do like events. They're just they're just adding that in. Um, they might do something with uh, events with that, that allow users to upload things directly to the store yeah. page of the game, which seems to be what this is being used for. Because as uh, 
Pavel explains there, it can be used either by people in the Valve group or anyone who could make changes to any of the store pages. So, yeah, but whatever it is, it allows people to upload things to store pages. Yeah, um, so Half Life 3. Half Life 3. <laughs> see, my, my initial, my knee jerk reaction was like, well, let's see, what would I be most disinterested in? I'm sorry, my brothers and sisters who were into it, but I was like, probably some CSGO bullshit, like Source 2 or something like that. Then I was like, Up- upload your own Counter Strike skins. Yeah. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Or like, even, you know, we still, this is all just still 100% speculation. I was just like treating myself to like, what, what if Valve released a game? Like, I, w- I would be. I, I would buy it. Let me say that's excited. If I got like a non VR version of Alex, like, that'd be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind that. Um, it's ne- ne- never going to happen. What if they released Right Alive 3? Mm-hmm. R- oh, right yeah. 5 Alive. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Left 5 Alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what? Remember, remember right a couple of years ago, we, we, we were talking about like they were, they were testing some like 24 man Left 4 Dead servers. Come on, give us that. Oh, that's what and, we need, uh, Left 4 Dead Battle Arena. Yeah, yeah like, the uh, Source 2 version of uh, Left 4 Dead 2, which never came out. Yes, how about yeah. giving us an excuse to just replay the same fuck mothering game again, but prettier, because <laughs> we'll do it. We're not yeah, right. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, oh, more speculation type stuff? Yeah, this is um, the, pa- Pavel Xpa again. He's he's posting he's posting all of the rumors. He's stoking the rumor yeah. bill. Uh, <laughs> but mo- mo- more more on him from his Twitter. This one's from Gamespot that highlighted it. Uh, apparently, the, uh, Valve is working on some peer to peer downloading for Steam on local area networks, which. You know, I wish Steam would have just do the, do this in general if I had already yes. had the game so- installed somewhere. Just copy it over. And, like, here's the thing. I already do this. It, it's called SCP or RSync, where I can just, like, copy games over the network to the mm-hmm. Steam folder. I, whenever, whenever I'm playing a game, like, on my PC here and I want to go upstairs and play it on the TV, I just, instead of installing it, I just copy the thing over. And, you know, Steam will detect the local files. And most of the time it'll be like, okay, I don't need to re-download this game. Sometimes it'll be like, oh, all the files are here. Time to re-download 69 gigs of shit. <laughs> um, but, yeah, just having that baked into Steam right off, off the bat, like they're they're already like shipping firewall rules and stuff, so like the network side is covered. Just supporting that natively through the client would be really really nice, and I hope they do it. My biggest thing when I see something like yes, you're hundred percent right, especially with the Steam Deck. If you get something installed in the house, uh, you, you don't need to be going out. You just like boom, just suck that bad boy off yeah. right there. Um, yeah. Someone clip that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what I do want to say is this, though, ladies and gentlemen, like why isn't this a thing already? Why? And the main reason I say that, if you don't know, Steam Cafe has been around for a long, long time, and it does just that for allowing you to have a local repository, local oh, content Steam cache. Controller. And yeah, this is. Uh, <laughs> that, that's yeah, how those are the licenses, the floating licenses, as they call them. <laughs> so if you're setting up, you know, and it even works for like multi location, it gives you like stats and how many, you know, it's for setting up the internet cafe and places yeah. where internet cafe still exists, but you can do it with Steam and Steam works and all that. And oh, by the way, the, this restricted access page contains Valve. <laughs> Erp, sure. Oh, so, hi. <laughs> Oops. L- uh, but yeah, LGC no, the course. local. Uh, cache content uh there are tons of videos showing you how you can actually set one up yourself using steam cmd which most people don't Pedro, even know i exists. have to imagine much like <laughs> yourself you've seen those videos as i have them went nah. yeah yeah no, that's way too much fucking work <laughs> so yeah just let people do it out of the box please valve yeah that's well, a good idea like, just yeah, do it <laughs> hey wouldn't it be great like especially if you were over at somebody's house with your steam deck like hey you want to yeah. play some multiplayer like, yeah sure yeah yeah it's just like zoop, just, zoop it over yeah LAN yeah. speeds, even if it is over wireless, it's probably going to be faster than downloading from most oh, people's internet connection. No, and it's gonna just gonna be faster than you know Valve's servers. Period. Yeah. You know, we, we've we've all played the waiting game. <laughs> oh, 2. where are you 9? hosting this game in Mordor? Yeah. Uh, but then you wait because you have all this false hope. You know, you're sitting there. You're just like, oh. Th-. Then you get excited when it like hits like three megabits down or three thirty. Uh, I guess that'd be thirty mm-hmm. megabits. You're like, oh, come on, you can do it. Then you open it and you're like, you're, you're rooting for the little fucking bar to like get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're wa- 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 watching that little like the the heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> and of course, the game you don't need right there. It's like, yeah, suit like. Well, over yeah, yeah, no, yeah, full the, the, 130 the, 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 yeah. megabytes per second. There you go. 
That's okay. Yeah, we, we got we got some shaders for you. Those are easy. Yeah. No. So this now, this now, five make my now, game. Yeah, now you'll be hours. walking around with your Steam Deck like Spirit Bomb, like your Goku man. Like, come on. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> then the tears gonna fall. <laughs> Give me your energy, Mommy. Maybe just a little more, <laughs> bud. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for us. Coming up next, we got to talk about wizards and shit. No, no, yeah. no. Not 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 that kind of wizard, but more more mages. The news are coming right up. You, you know the drill at this point. It's it's been what? 10 years? Well, for me it's been 10 years right about today. It was 10 years ago that a uh, certain someone kind of started, you know, S- Sergeant up. Pepper taught the band to play. <laughs> <laughs> started popping up on the show so uh yeah uh how you have put up with me and i do mean both you van and jordan we and just everyone like to else watching <laughs> to stop and thank nori yeah let's t- take take a moment of silence for nori she's been with me with for 12 years so <laughs> take yeah. an extra moment of silence for those extra I mean, years listen what you don't know is behind the scenes nori's been coaching both um Jordan and myself. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were going to say behind the scenes, Nori is like operating a flush marionette that is Pedro. Listen, this entire thing's a joke that's gotten way too out of way out of hand, Pedro. You've seen the Far Side comic, right, with a dictator? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, t- ten years that that that's significant. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Jordan's going to tell you now how you can fund another ten years if you be so kind. Yeah, if if, 40 if you want to be like. Yeah, if you if you want to be uh, like our support us like our fellow like fellow uh, supporters, Sleeve McDichael and Mike Truck, you can head on over to patreoncom slash I have a joke like right here, and I can't get it out. God damn it! It's oh no! Me All right, uh, yeah, anyway. patreoncom slash Gamecast. Sub to us. Uh, you get access to our Discord channel. You can also do that by subbing to us on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Gamecast. Speaking of, we gotta thank Basil, man. He's been with us for thirty six months. That's Three years? Yeah, I can math. Three well, years. Yes. Yeah, what's that in spider legs? Yeah. Uh, very, 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 <laughs> very, very impressive. I'm on I, still, I still don't know if it's Basil or Basil, and I will continue to never know. Uh, we got, uh, You can also uh, get access to uh, our show notes by subbing to us on uh, Patreon. Oh, man, you can, you can watch this nonsense go down in real time. Indeed, as it as it congeals over the course of the week, we got game streams. I do uh, Borderlands on Thursday. Ven does Trackmania Stadium Two on Tuesdays and Fridays. So if you want RSVP, you got to get in our Discord. Uh, we put up the events there. You can. I do want to say um, we do have Rectangle yes. up for our Trackmania Ooh. server that is up twenty four seven. We do the uh, practice on Tuesdays. Fourteen new maps. All the information is at filthy.linuxteamcast.com. If you're an old fuck like me, you need to be playing these types of video games to keep your brains and your fingers working, man. Keep it organized. Plus, it's a cool group of people to hang out with. It's always open and inviting. But we have a spectator cam set up now, so all the internet can watch us randomly. And it'll just... Voyeuristic. Voyeurism. You you wouldn't (laughs) think that, but that thing has... The uh, auto cam has a crush on Nubbin. It likes his DeLorean. Ooh, all right. Okay. Ah, Don't know why. (laughs) It's it's, it's a big Back to the Future fan. He's going to have to get a restraining order. (laughs) <laughs> speaking of restraining orders if you want to get one for us go to store.linuxgamecast.com we sell them yeah I'm, sell legal notarized documents I, I, I just <laughs> thought about it I was like restraining order no restraining order .linuxgamecast.com go there and file your cease and desist not a legal document <laughs> Has, hashtag not a lawyer yeah uh, buy, buy, buy some merch we got t-shirts we got stickers we got uh, hoodies, coffee cups, all that good stuff. If you want to rep the rep the uh, podcast, or just you know drink some mayo out of a cup, we got you covered. We got uh, wish zones as well. If you head on over to linuxgamecast.com, put your mouse over the support button. I have one. Uh, I'm Jill has one. Pedro has one. Ven has one. So, oh. Flying, flying mayo. Uh, uh, what is who's hang on? Uh, uh, Pedro's yes. Pedro yes. needs uh, monitor arms, vengeance ram, and a fan and some green ram. Uh, Jordan and needs, another one like, of those SSDs uh, that I Jordan, really Jordan like. needs fifteen hundred dollars, please and thank Lots you. Lots of computer. Oh, what's oh oh hmm. all right. Uh, uh, I, I'm, oh look, I I can whoa. I don't know if I'd get a silicon power like two terabyte one. You know. That was that wasn't one hundred and seventy six dollars okay. when I added that there. So okay, all right. Uh, wait, stop. Ooh, come on, man. We need the chicken head. Jordan, Morton. one day, one day, Jordan's going to complete his, uh, like head of, uh, chickens and other yep. mask. Uh, that's out. I need an ice cube. 
because water tea ain't going to have none of this shit. Uh, power adapters, HDMI cables, and of course, there's the epic build. A fun size epic motherboard. Looking forward to that. But hey, thanks for your support. Keeping us loud, live, independent. And you know, it's been weird being able to do this for a decade without having to deal with like, we don't have meetings and shit. This is like, there's that's, no like. Th- that, that's not true. That we, we record the meetings and we put them up for our viewers. <laughs> the pre show? This yes. is the meetings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If I, if, if, yes, yes. If I had to go to work meetings that were pre super shows and either I'd love to wear there, work there or I'd fucking quit. Um, yeah. it, there, there would not be any, there's no, there's no in between. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, <laughs> man, let's get older and more unhinged, possibly seen more senile. I think. What? Huh? Where am I? Yeah. Looking forward to it. What was your name again? Who? Why are you here? <laughs> oh man. Good news. Everybody. Intel Arc Battle Mage, early enabling, that sounds naughty, uh, in Q1 2024, Red Gaming Tech has leaked an alleged roadmap featuring Arc Intel GPU. And we get into that Battle Mage nonsense, uh, somewhere around, around early enabling, uh, it's, again, that just sounds like something's up. Are we uh, that, 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 yeah. That's, we, we are sending cards, we are sending GPUs to partners. Dude, early I don't, enabling. No, effectively. You, yeah. you know, if they take any <laughs> playbook from, um, what is this current generation, Alchemist? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That means that they're going to release a laptop in China and six laptops in time. Well, <laughs> oh, well, you, come you on. Know, they're you going know, to release Alchemist Plus in Q3 yeah, 2023. We, 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 we can tide that over. <laughs> they can clock it higher and give us some more RAM. So, <sighs> yeah. unfortunately, this is going to be boiling down to uh, 2024 for the mage. And that's Q2 or at the earliest. Yeah. yeah. Early. Well, it, to like actually get your hands on a card yeah probably oh yeah. oh yeah oh yeah 100 percent all date subject yeah you know it's uh see that's how you know this is actually from intel because it's got a uh, star whoa that got big uh <laughs> less big oh, no yeah. no mid-range um, <laughs> responsive design all right uh, all dates are subject to change without notice uh from discussion purposes only all right let's just talk some shit uh that's what we're doing <laughs> pretty Gentlemen, much i gotta say and everyone out there, what's your feedback? I'd love to hear your uh, thoughts, hints, and allegations on this. 2024 is, is going to, uh, that's just late. That's late. Yeah. Because we're just walking into 2023. We're only a few weeks in. And I, I'm thinking that this is going to put Intel, like, oh, poor Intel, right? B- Multi billion dollar corporation. Uh, it's going to put them into another, it's going to put their graphics division into another fucky situation like they currently found themselves because, you know, Captain Obvious, allow me to show up here. AMD and NVIDIA will have whatever their current gen lower ish in, you know, God, man, we don't know what that's Six Six hundred dollar forty sixty, yeah. five hundred dollar forty fifty. <laughs> you know, you know. Uh, and you know what? If Battle Mage can come out even at the beginning of uh, ish of twenty twenty four, yeah, that forty sixty is six hundred dollars or five hundred dollars because six hundred like as soon as you start saying five hundred dollars, it was like yeah, probably. Uh, if they can come out with something in the three hundred three hundred fifty range that can tango with it the current 4060 because then it, you know nvidia it's gonna take them a while to catch up and like you're never gonna get current gen matched performance from intel yeah um, they're, they're they're already a year behind because of supply chain issues right like they they're top of the line the best intel can make right now the everything thrown at it is a little bit slower than my 3060 which came out three years ago a770 uh it it's getting slightly better even for gaming uh because they finally support DirectX 9 <laughs> yeah which was never which, a which problem appar- on linux which apparently Vulcan now, now, apparently they gave up <laughs> intel gave up and they're just straight up using d uh, d9vk now which is pretty dumb all right okay mm-hmm. <laughs> They, which, they, yeah, they, they, like were, to, they were originally going with their, their own prop solution, uh-huh. and then they're it, like, it was. <laughs> And then somebody walked in there and slapped the dicks out of their mouth, and like, stop doing this bullshit. We're yeah, already don't, yeah, fucking Don't reinvent we the right wheel. Now. Right. <laughs> but yeah, no, there, there might be a 200 or under 225 watt uh, TDP Battle Mage GPU somewhere in q2 2024 with a up to 150 watt one in well the second half of q2 2024 so according to this uh, mm. you know <laughs> subject to change asterisk yes. upside down weak yeah. face uh... Tw- yeah tw- 2024 though it's it might be a little late but 
a little late, but like if prices stay the way they are, mm-hmm. like and nobody buys shit because yeah, this stagnation's no, here to stay, boys. Yeah, no, 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 no one's all right. Yeah, already no one's buying stuff, and it like we're we're not seeing people rushing to get the new cards, anyways. So you know may, maybe maybe when that rolls around, Intel might have a competitive offering. However, we are hoping that we are putting our money on Intel competing on price, which is a thing that they just don't really want to do. They ever. don't want to be the budget option ever. It, they're um, Intel. There's. <laughs> I would say to disprove all of that, you can see what the 770 launched for three hundred fifty dollars. That was. I, I don't. I don't think they had a choice if they put that up no, for no, like eight hundred dollars. Here's the reality of it: no matter what they release, they don't have a choice. And yeah. the, <laughs> the fact that that launched at three hundred and fifty and stayed there shows that Intel also understands they don't have a choice. <laughs> So it's not like the MSRP be... stayed there, but the actual buy uh, price I, I, for the I, ones I, that you can find is a bit higher. Yes, I, I see, don't know. That it, is a cool. not, you don't have go to Newegg and just buy one right now for $350. Uh, yeah, no, not Newegg UK. They don't have them. Yeah. yeah. Canada, Canada <laughs> Computers has them. I'm like, hmm, maybe like four or $400 for uh, a 770, 16 gig? Uh, still, still, still no. Still uh, no. Yeah, at best it was a curiosity fuck. That's all it yeah. was. And, um, you know, then again, this entire thing, this, the, uh, what was the little baby teeny tiny one they made? The, uh, the, the A380. 380. A380, the Airbus 380. My, my buddy got one of those. He was doing I'm, that. Yeah. Get like a little eye in here because, again, I'm going to be, you know, one of the cool things about having more than just four fucking PCI Express slots uh, is like that comes out. And I'm like, ooh. Then we get AV1 ingestion from Twitch and better support in YouTube. There's your encoder card right there, baby. They're going to sell those. Yeah. They're going to yeah. sell those. That's, uh, my buddy's doing that for uh, Jellyfin, for mm-hmm. uh, H265 and AV1. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah it, I mean, if you're a digital hoarder, those things yeah. are like super cool too, man. Like, yeah, convert right. all your stuff over to AV1. <laughs> and I mean, we, we need it. We desperately need it because we are living in the worst timeline right now. Um, like, this is like, uh, you were, you were supposed to, Get your shit together, NVIDIA and AMD. You were the chosen one, but you, you just fucked us. Oh, well, AMD's <laughs> like, oh, wait, so this is what people are charging now? We can do that. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, AMD <laughs> did the equivalent of like putting some lube on the fist first. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's as far as they went. No, man, they're still, you know, they lost the little fucking watch. Um, uh, Intel, do you think we'll ever get like a legitimate, like, okay, like the Dark Horse? sleeping stuff is the gpu development that's going on in china right now yeah if- they're legitimately like pushing there's companies pushing for now granted where that ip came from that they're developing it with yeah mm-hmm. not yeah to, not to more, but. <laughs> yeah i'm not, not sure how, how uh, easy that is gonna be to acquire on the, you know the north american side and also the driver support right like yeah don't worry about the back doors it's not there yeah <laughs> I got windows from my back doors, baby. What's a few extra? <laughs> Most of China has windows from the back door. Yeah. <laughs> something, I, uh, something back door shenanigans. Uh, the entire play service stack from Google. I mean, come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, we, we, we need something. We need something. We need to catch a fucking break, man. We need somebody to see what we needed was that 770 to come out and have been like a legitimate 3070 competitor for 350 bucks that's and, what we you need. know have more uh hardware partners not just acer for christ's sake it's easier for me to get an acer a770 than it is to get anything else that intel <laughs> makes gpu i don't know man i was joking around in the pre pre super shows and the more i think about it is I, I think the perfect card to buy for anyone right now um, myself included is to go ahead and just get the 4090 but make sure you get a water-cooled 4090 because they make two <laughs> different versions of a water cold 490 that way at least you'll have like three like legal at least one good legal option but you know you can uh set your house on fire <laughs> yeah, your PC. Insurance money, yeah. <laughs> yeah you're like trip your breakers like what's not to love uh <laughs> what do we think about before we leave before we leave on this one um the totally new cut from whole cloth 4070 ti oh yeah was yes. released this week Mm-hmm. Or the end of last week, somewhere in there. Well, I saw the uh, the benchmark re- 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 uh, couple of no, no, yeah, no, no, a couple brand, of the brand new Windows stuff users. Don't, don't, don't listen to the rumors. <laughs> a couple of the Windows YouTubers uh, posted the benchmarks, and seeing uh, something that is priced like a seventy nine hundred XT, you know, 
the XT, not the XTX, mm-hmm. uh, and having the XT basically overperform it on everything except the ray tracing stuff because that's the only thing that Nvidia has going for it. Hey, man, some people like fucking it. up their frame rates, baby. <laughs> again, again, uh, but, but uh, again, like you, you have to look at the difference in hardware between those cards. The seventy nine hundred has twenty gigs of VRAM. Yeah, <laughs> forty seventy has twelve. <laughs> For the same price, it's yeah. Like, fucking really, Nvidia. Okay. Really? So, what we need to do is like we got to look at a, like better apples and wrench comparison because the uh, 4070 Ti is usually a little bit faster than the previous generation 3090 Ti for only a hundred dollars more. <laughs> yeah. Now, how much would you pay? Uh, apparently, uh, see this, this, this not 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 seven not eight ninety nine US. Yeah, no. Like you, you thought like the forty eighty like what, what is it? What does it get? Is it sixteen or twenty? It's twenty four. Uh, the forty eight. The forty eighty is sixteen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, sixteen. Yeah, sixteen and twelve yeah. was the two forty eighties that they wanted to release. Yeah, you thought nobody <laughs> was touching that stinker. Like this thing. <laughs> like here's what you do though. You you get a founder's edition in the box and you pack that up. Let your kids sell it. They're gonna make some fucking money because that's gonna be a collector's item. <laughs> yeah get that 4070 yeah. ti oh find one with the box that clearly has a sticker Ooh. over what used to be 4080 because that's no, gonna you, be worth more you, 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 you think on the pcb someone took a sharpie and just like crossed out the Man. whole edge in 40, 4080 like a scalpel saying. and scraped it off <laughs> no 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 j- j- just a sharpie just like just like a regular black bar dude uh you will be able to watch uh lgr's great grandchild like rub on it and go hmm hmm <laughs> Oh, Nvidia's right. unreleased card. <laughs> right, <laughs> unlaunched. Sorry, <laughs> unlaunched. Right, unlaunched. I got my d- d- uh, made-up words confused. <laughs> d- d- delaunched, <laughs> gentlemen. Shall we take a moment to talk about the controller? Nay, the gamepad that goes yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it does. And if you're thinking it's like, oh, so people announcing controllers on uh, CES, probably someone like uh, Razer, maybe some. Um, some of the other ones that do the occasional controller every now and then, Rocat, um, Matt Katz isn't a thing anymore. I think they got bought by someone else. Uh, but no, 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 no. Dell, Alienware, but you know, Dell. Uh, they've come up with the Nix gamepad, which uh, Nix is the D-pad in favor of a little touchpad with a crosshairs drawn on it. That okay. And see, uh, it's I, got. See, in my head, Ganon Pedro, everything's 100% crooked with this. And you're like, nope, it's the pattern. It's the pattern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's got RGB. It's got two, a little RGB strip around the bottom. Uh, it's and got that two bottom, fucking scroll wheels. Yep, it has two scroll wheels, two little bulges that you can use to change the settings in the firmware for the controller, like Where? sensitivity Alpaca. for the touchpad. Alpaca. <laughs> listen, listen. You you yeah. thought you were revolutionary with the one scroll wheel. Dell just fucking showed up and hit your lunch, buddy. Where's where's revision two? I want like eight scroll wheels. <laughs> oh, is, are these the scroll wheels right there? Yeah. The, the those two bulges are the scroll wheels. Um and yeah, the, what they do is basically set the uh, the lighting and the sensitivity for the uh the little touchpad. Uh but otherwise it it looks very much like uh this kind of a really cheap controller that everyone is copying nowadays. Even the RGB lighting on the button seems to be about the same. They only added the one around the bottom here. <laughs> does that de- d- does the like not analog stick touchpad does that rotate? It looks like it should rotate. Mm-hmm. I I don't know. I did uh, the video doesn't show it rotating, so I'm assuming it's just like a touchpad. So yeah, no. Ask Valve how the removing the D pad on the uh, the Steam controller went because uh, that's one of the things that people complained about the Steam controller. The other one was where's the right analog stick, Valve? <laughs> That's don't the listen big to him, Steamy. He doesn't know what. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's that's what the touchpad is for. I, 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 don't, I don't know how people didn't get that part. The like the, the D pad, I can understand. Yeah, like what, what they, they really have. fucking assumed you didn't because they put a cross on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to try and fool people. It's like no, the D pad's still there. No, it isn't. Hey, hey, wait it, a yeah. minute. This it, it is kind of, but kind of. <laughs> yes, yeah, sort, sort of, kind of, not really. <laughs> But but like I, again, for for what it is, I actually really like the Steam controller as a controller for like specific games. But Dude, it's yeah. the mm-hmm. ultimate HTPC uh, accessory. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And 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 honestly, like again, I I still got to say, like the on-screen keyboard for the Steam controller is probably like the best on-screen keyboard experience I've seen. 
Where does this thing have to land price wise uh, from Dell? Uh, Under fifty bucks. Nibble? Yeah. <laughs> Right, yeah, right right now, what, it's like $90 Canadian for, like, a DualSense 5? Mm. And that's for, like, the basic bitch one, not even, like, the, the new crazy one that they released. That's $200 US. Dude. <laughs> yeah, so... Like, I know, was just out, out of curiosity. Yeah. I was like, you know what, maybe I want to get, like, the new uh, Xbox controller, the one with, like, the like a little fucked up, more circular number yep. pad. They're just out of stock, and this was, like, two weeks ago. Like, Amazon's like, they don't exist right now, bro. Like, damn. Um... So yeah, if you can keep this under fifty bucks, I might want to curiosity because hey, welcome to Linux. Well, actually, just welcome to SDL too and Steam input. I, yeah, as long as it works. sends yep. X input or D input for buttons that matter. Or buttons, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the RGB I can ho- disable. That's what the scroll wheels are for. You could just yeah. probably turn it off. <laughs> and I will do an entire episode just fucking with the lights. <laughs> 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 that will definitely be a thing uh yeah they try something different though i mean good on them like i want uh more people to play around with like the haptic touch uh smooth nipple aerials like, there, there's got to be something there right yeah absolutely I mean, you, but you, do it the you, same way can that the Steam Deck it. does have you know still have both analogs and d-pad and then you have the two areolas on top of those no, what if replace. we have three areolas and motion control what if I have like four more scroll wheels? Uh, I suppose then you can go fuck yourself. I don't know. Um, <laughs> how do you how do you fuck yourself for the scroll wheel, Pedro? Draw me a diagram. <laughs> You've got four scroll wheels, so you can then roll around on them. And go fuck maybe, yourself. Maybe he's just got some to spare, man. It is, don't be greedy. I don't I mean, know. <laughs> you don't need all four of those. All right, um, scroll cocky, yeah. I saw Pedro <laughs> post a link about this in our super secret discord. And I was like, and let's see if I can beat him to the show. Nope. It's already in the show notes. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I posted it uh, on the um, show, uh, show suggestions uh, discord channel, just so I wouldn't forget. And then, yeah, I put it on the show notes. Uh, but yeah, it is basically a re imagining of fallout two, but in first person. Yes, Fallout 2, the old one. Ah, so it's and, like Duke Nukem. Uh, yeah, the, the, the graphics are about that year. Yeah, 1998. You know what, I take that back. This, this looks like build engine, but this looks like Rise of the Triad level graphics. <laughs> Which is a compliment. Very, very, yeah, very, very early build. Uh, but yeah, no, it is a very, very early access alpha version, not point oh point four twenty four sorry uh and yeah, yeah you can yeah, play b- it. B- by the way got, gotta switch the language settings it's polish by default yes <laughs> you can play it on the browser it's um i, th- I think it's good though like g- no given, given it is that, construct no? construct okay <laughs> yeah i was gonna no say like g- browser <laughs> g- like g- honestly like given how well it runs in the browser i would have just assumed mm-hmm. Godot, but yeah all right oh, yeah, man, no, this it is, is fallout right in stein 3d uh, yeah, it is right now. It's just the uh, a recreation of the intro to Klamath, but it's one of the towns in uh, Fallout Two. There isn't a whole lot there yet, and the combat's very, very iffy. So yeah, it is very much a proof of concept at this point. But I want it. And Fallout Two is my all-time favorite game, and you you turn Fallout Two into a boom shoot. Uh, yeah. No, that C- kind very of, much, it, please, do. Yeah. Reminds me a little <laughs> bit of uh, that Castlevania that was implemented in Doom, and you just get, like, first-person Castlevania. Yep. Oh, yeah, that was kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. And, like, a uh, wall chicken. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm always down for, like, people, like, taking classic games and, like, yeah, let's completely reimagine them. Let's, let's take the, the DNA and see what we can turn it into. And you especially now that... like, a uh, Chiptunes Fall Out Boy soundtrack for it? Oh, probably. <laughs> it's Mark or, Morgan. There is using the original... Um, Needs more Probably emo. a bad idea, but they're using the original soundtrack oh. made by Mark Morgan. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, no, you know, on the legal side of things, Bethesda is very, very suey when it comes to their trademarks, but they were okay with OpenMW because it was called OpenMW, not Open Morrowind. They were very specific about that. Uh, they were okay with Daggerfall Unity because it wasn't called The Elder Scrolls Daggerfall Unity. It was just Daggerfall Unity. So, 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 so if they called this, so if they called this, drop away the second, then yeah. they're good. 
Uh, you know, D star star the roguelike. <laughs> How about this? Uh, if you've learned anything you mean Jupiter from the Hell? history of ever uh, yeah. fan made games, um, a don't announce your shit until it's done. Rule number one: <laughs> If you want people to actually play your shit, yeah, I know you want to show off what you're working on and all that. But guess what? Now people know about it, and even us, we're talking about it on a Lux Gaming Podcast. B, it's all fun in the games until you try to charge money for anything, donations included. Then they will yeah. fucking just wipe, smear you, gone, disappear. So there you go. Yeah, call it FOPS too, like Fallout. No, person no, two. L- 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 literally call it Drop Away. <laughs> Uh, shooting yeah. McPew Pew flame person at the end of the YouTube trailer. Yes. <laughs> See, that's dumb enough to actually work, guys. So we'll Sh- sit back you, and you, wait. you gotta turn that into an, algor- uh, an acronym, right? Like, shoot, <laughs> and, 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 shooting McPew Pew fiery and, and, death person yeah. at the end of YouTube. Jeez, man. Well, that's what <laughs> <characters. laughs> L- listen, listen, it's just, listen, Acer named their new monitor after it. It's fine. It's, it's successful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See. You wouldn't even want to fight me on that. That's probably a character <laughs> sequence in an Acer monitor, man. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I believe it. Well, uh, we, got, we, got, we got a couple of new games we got to talk or not new games, but updated games, I guess. This, this is kind of new. Free Call 1.0.0. 20 years this has been in development. And uh, they're, they've been saying, like, yeah, 20 years we've been, we did our first public release. Uh, they've been marking all of the, um, releases now as like alpha and beta, but they decided, you know, at 20 years, it's about time to call it a 1.0 and yeah, uh, it is, it is not an engine reimplementation. It is a straight up clone of the old Microprolo's colonization games. This one comes with some like fancy new graphic styles, some AI improvement. I was, I was going to originally call it like a genocide simulator, but like they do give you the option to be peaceful with the natives, which I guess is nice in a colonization game. Uh, but <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, it, it looks the part, it looks like an old Microprose game from like the mid to late nineties. Uh, they, they said in their, um, in their kind of mission statement on their about page that once they hit about, or once they hit, uh, 1.0, that they were going to stop focusing on like trying to recreate the original game and start adding new features. So I wonder if they're going to start doing that now. I don't know. Uh, Card- uh, can, uh, I play as a Kardashian? No, you, 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 I mean, maybe if you mod it, you can like, <laughs> you, like, yeah, you, you know, you know, it's the Nina, saying, the like, Pita, the Santa Maria, and the USS Defiance. I'm Warf, just, Warf, yeah. Tell me again, not a habit. One of those screenshots looked like Bajor. <laughs> had an idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It, it, it's one of those pre Kaiser or Caesar or whatever you want to call it type of games. Uh, Kaiser which solid. I, yeah, I, I could never get into. Mm-hmm. But yeah. all right uh so a uh, couple of things though this thing's backwards compatible though yeah yeah 1.0 and all, all your shit's still gonna work you don't have to do any fuckity doodahs and uh the <laughs> the escape gear like this can now be used to close most panels amazing <laughs> which i'll tell four to pay respect which is like the low-key way of like <laughs> fuck you we john forgot about that <laughs> oops <laughs> Mou- mouse driven gameplay and uh, the AI can now construct docks because that doesn't ever own one, man. Doesn't. Amazing. Not even a little bit. Uh, <laughs> no that's how you get Cisco. Out. Cisco's going to show up. You let AI start controlling docks, man. Catacombs yeah. GL. Yeah, uh, Catacombs. Uh, it's the open source port of the Catacomb 3D, uh, Catacomb Abyss, Catacomb Armageddon, and Catacomb Alpacalypse. Um, it's all done in uh, OpenGL with SDL2. They have a new release up. Um, yeah, this this one comes with Linux support via mm-hmm. CMake, uh, and I got, they, they say they tested it on a Raspberry Pi. Which you know, I, you know, previously we had a lot of people saying like, "Hey, we tested this on a VM, so it must work." At least testing it on a Raspberry Pi is like real ass fucking hardware. If it runs on a Raspberry, it's probably going to run on most of your Linux PCs. So that's a fair <laughs> test, I would say. Um, also, uh, the border flash color is now magenta in Catacombs 3D. Our long national nightmare is over. Yeah, if you're wondering what uh, Catacomb is, it is the precursor to Wolfenstein. Yes, <laughs> it's that old. <laughs> Jesus Christ, why are you doing a make J3? You know you can do a I J gotta, make it. number processor. Huh? You know that you know, dual you, core it, CPU. It, it, it's it's that AMD tricore, right? <laughs> hey, do you really just need it to compile on a retro fucking fashion? Is that is that really wrong? I mean, if you're oh. on a Raspberry Pi, yeah, that, uh, J3 makes low. sense. That's still low. <laughs> yeah, you, most of them are quad cores nowadays. But most. Find still. me the tricore. Find me the fucking tricore Raspberry Pi bedroom. <laughs> no, that's the thing. J3, what that does is it uses two cores and the other one 
just gets queued up for whenever a job ends. I but. want it to scream in agony. <laughs> J3 is not going to give me that now, is it? <laughs> J, J, you need, all the things. You, 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 you need J dash J scream in agony. That's that's the option. Um, <laughs> this is true. Word. So. Uh, See, they migrated over to CMake, which is cool. We got that Linux build. It does build on Debian 11. I'm going to give them extra props uh, with uh, putting the binary in the damn build directory after I compiled it, or I didn't have to go hunting for it, which I immediately, nice. out of reflex, just headed over to the uh, source directory and started looking around and like jumping, like going up a level. I'm like, where's this thing the entire time? <laughs> just sitting there in the build directory. I'm like, huh, well done. More people do that. that that's handy. Like, Give me a copy there so I can see if it runs before I install it without having to go, like, where's the binary? This damn thing. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll do it. Coming up next, I made this joke a couple weeks ago, but we're not playing Tekken. We're just playing Panda Punch. Don't punch any pandas. And we're back. We're here with the Chairquisition, where we take a game and then we install it on our computers that are running Linux. On, on different hardware, and then we, we give you our opinion based on, on lawn chairs. It's this new revolutionary thing that we do every week. Uh, this week, we're taking a look at Panda Punch by Ninja Rabbit Studios, built on, I don't know, may, maybe Construct? I don't know, something NWJS, according to what Pedro wrote down. You can pick yeah. it up for about five bucks US. What is it? Panda Punch is a puzzle platformer game in which you have you have to control a red panda and save the world from evil alien robots. We got to thank uh, the publisher Rata Laika Games for sending us some keys. I guess let's get into it. Pedro, did you punch a panda? How did it feel? Um, <laughs> no, no. Uh, strangely enough, it, it actually made me not want to punch with the panda very, very quickly. But we'll get to that. Uh, there's no Linux executable. That that That's like, you know, the, the big no-no right off the bat. For a game that claims to be a Linux game, uh, there's no Linux executable when you download it. You need Proton Fatality. to run it. And... Um, <sighs> There was no reply. I actually sent an email back to the publisher since they sent us keys. It's like, hey, um, that there's no Linux executables on this. They didn't reply. I checked on SteamDB for the um, for the files on the depot, and yeah, no, there's just the one depot, and there only seem to be Windows executables. So. Yeah, that that that's what we're dealing with. But the the other thing that I noticed while I was looking at that is the actual release date for this game was December 16th, but the last update to the depots was more than a month prior on November 3rd. So it's like, oh, mm, that 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 says something. But uh yeah, no, when you do get it to work with Proton, it does hold 144 at 2560 by 1440. It better look at it. Uh <laughs> Uh, there's no actual options to lo uh, to speak of outside of the audio sliders and the language select. It seems to only have achievements for the first section of the game map, which also seems to confirm my theory, but uh, we'll get to that. Controller works, but I was only getting keyboard button prompts, and there's no controls listing and no option to change them, so right off the bat, it, it, there's already negative chairs on the board. Um, is it fun, though? No. No, it is not. Uh, imagine if you were to combine literally every platformer that you've ever played, and you only keep all of the overlapping mechanics. All of the interesting one-offs? Gone. All of the slight twists on the genre to try and set it apart. In the sea of cheaply made platformer, the likes of which three came out on Steam already, uh, since I started reading this bit. Yeah, nowhere to be found. Uh, to say that the... <laughs> to say that this game, Panda Punch, is the literal definition of a generic box standard platforming game would be doing a disservice to standards and generic stagnant bodies of water. Uh, personally, I can't find a singular redeeming quality here. And the more I look into it, the more I played it, the more it screams unfinished. It, it It's like they released the game and it was not finished. One chair. <laughs> yeah, so on Fedora 37, 64-bit with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti, it launches out of the box on Proton 705. Proton Experimental. No worky, it seems. Also, I, I, I keep seeing this. The... the, the, the Busted uh, turrets. They look like little Ahagao faces. They uh, got tons, <laughs> Jordan. Yeah, tons. I, 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 can't, I can't unsee it. It's you just like... You want to get sweet kisses. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Anyway, so yeah, you got to launch this in Proton. Uh, so, you, you know, the thing about this being a whole Linux gaming podcast is the whole playing the Linux version of the game is the point of the exercise here. Like, if you had, Five if it was your plan to just have support via Proton, just say that up front. We wouldn't have reviewed your game and you wouldn't have gotten banned for it. And we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. Uh, I guess no, no press is bad press, I guess. No graphics options, no windowed mode, but at least it runs in game scope perfectly fine. Um, although it may, it, t- it takes a while to fucking kill. Don't don't, don't alt off for this game. It does not like that a lot if you're running it in game scope. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll end up playing it for another five hours, apparently. Um, no graphics options. Uh, the, you get the keyboard prompts, as Pedro mentioned. The soundtrack is, you know, pretty retro, and the graphics get the point across. Um, but fun-wise, it's, it's meh, right? Like, it's not particularly challenging. All of the levels involve punching bad guys, moving boxes, switches, punching switches, and so on. And the levels are pretty straightforward. The routes are just convoluted jumbles of the previously mentioned elements. You can upgrade your health and your punch, but that basically requires scraping all the levels for all the various coins, cards, and peepees, thingies. I mean, it's it's not yeah, awful, but it's you not literally collect the peepees. <laughs> it reminds me of kind of like the myriad of bootleg platformers that populated the memory on all those Famiclone combo carts that came with like 500 games that you got at a flea market that you could maybe run in your NES. Uh, and like, re- really, the issue here is like the competition. This is basically hipster pixel Princess Ruby, except even that game varied things up. You had like the Donkey Kong segments, you had the Sonic the Hedgehog segments. Here, the levels just get longer and longer, and so do those elevator wait times because you gotta wait for that platform to come all the way back down if you fuck up a jump, and it takes a goddamn minute. Yeah, it's just not very entertaining. It's very, very. It, it's it's a functional game. That's all I can really say about it. If you're gonna play it on Windows. <laughs> One chair. <laughs> All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, over here on Debian testing on the bookworm, um, you know, there's an ancient Vorlon saying for games like this. Uh, roughly translated, uh, it goes as so. The lion, the witch, and the audacity of this bitch to fucking release something with Linux support and not include binaries. I thought we were over this. 2023. This is some bullshit. That's all this is. Um, they're just not there. No one fucking cares. Pedro tries to get somebody on the phone. I'm like, nope, not even picking that up. Whatever. Kind of botched step one out of the gate. You did, Brad. You did. You advertise that on your Steam page. You don't deliver that. That's just insta one chair. And let's go through the motions. We got to. Uh, it does launch with Proton 7. Pedro and Jordan have pointed that out. And uh, you do have options, though. A volume and sound. But that's it. Uh, you've completely exhausted your options list after that. Now, controller support. It does exist, but got a courtesy of the Steam's keyboard mapping functions. I, I use the Xbox One S controller. As long as you don't mind keyboard button prompts, and if you want to figure out those moon gloves, you're welcome to. It's simple enough to where it's not really an issue. But yeah, hipster pixel game. Uh, it's a 3060. I have in the box the Threadripper 1920X, and yeah, guess what? It was able to manage 2160p 60 FPS. No complaints. But about the game proper. Let's stick with the nice things. Let's try to say some nice things about Panda Punch. Pixel art looks nice for what it is. Nothing amazing, but, you know, it's not, like, full of, like, pre-bought assets and programmer art. Get on that soundtrack. It's, like, SNES-era, albeit, like, SNES-era soundtracks on, like, a morphine drip. But it is there. It is there. Level design, serviceable. I'll say that. It works. Health drops logically split, you know, set out to where like that was cheap. You just oh good, there's a health thing over there. Reasonably well done. You can't speed up the dialogue boxes. I don't know why this pissed me off so much at the beginning, but uh, <laughs> they figured this out a long time ago. With the we're gonna like just sprinkle out the text letters. And like, oh, I can't fast forward this. No, you're gonna sit through all this one. Some people can read faster than the speed of smell. That was agonizing to sit through, and it's got them bugs, kids. It does. I got 20 minutes in this game. And, you know, you have like the checkpoints halfway through the levels. Uh, it saved and it respawned me right after I dropped a box on some spikes that made the box completely inaccessible. So, and it's infinite wisdom, uh, I'm right back, you know, at halfway through the level. And I get back there. The box is still sitting there in this fucking hole filled with spikes, completely inaccessible. Can't do anything with it. Uh, noped out right then. And you know what? I did a little bit of research. This is the second game from Ninja Rabbit Studios. You know, the first one being Mystopia in 2022 and like Panda Punch. I mean, it looks nice, but 11 of the 13 reviews for that game, you guessed it, negative. 
And I dare say you could swap those reviews out for Panda Punch and you would maintain an accuracy rating of about 98%. So, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, even if Panda Punch was a good game, that's not, I would tell you to avoid anyone, no matter who they are, selling Windows only title and supporting SteamOS plus Linux. Be it by accident, be it by negligence, whatever it is. That's somebody you don't want to do business with at all. And keep a try, you know, keep an eye out. Take a look and be like, ah, I remember you. I don't want to mess with you. Why? Because of bullshit like this. So I know. I know where I'm going with this. Surprise. No, I'm not just one chair. Gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, I think we kind of we talked it to death. There's really not much else, is there? No. This is, it's- we don't even, you know, I was worried that we would see a lot of this. Like I really was when the first uh, when the Steam Deck was announced. I'm like, we're gonna see a lot of people not getting the rules. But Valve came out through the development channels was very, very crystal clear about like, don't say you have Linux support unless you have Linux binaries because we need to know to make sure it's gonna work with a uh, Proton and how we're going to clear it to make sure that it works with Proton. You know, for different reasons than this, but. There, there's no fucking accident here. This is somebody being a lazy bitch. Well, Taking money. Whatever be- happened. Well, clearly, the game wasn't finished. user reviews. <laughs> the game wasn't finished. Plus, because, plus, plus, the, plus this one on the curator page. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, and it, you see, like, the achievements list, like I mentioned. Only the first quarter of the game actually has achievements listed for it. Ah. Uh, the depot is clearly showing windows only but they somehow listed it as linux probably li- because linux was planned but it never happened so it 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 screams unfinished i <laughs> how dare you say that i mean <laughs> this you're just okay here i want everybody to take a look at uh here that's uh boop, boop, boop. look familiar yeah <laughs> A little, a little bit. Honestly, that's clearly the same artist. Yes. <laughs> the this, person who drew the uh, things was the same one. <laughs> at least this is like a Metroidvania type thing. And like, honestly, that, that one, uh, Panda Punch, to be fair, is also a Metroidvania because after you kill a boss, you unlock new abilities and you can go through the levels to attain certain secrets you can reach before. It oh, is. Yeah. Well, this, this, this one's got a mouse in it, Pedro. <laughs> I, I, I mean, yeah. I, and this I mean, one gives yes, you keyboard yes. prompts. And a frog. I, I'm a much I, mean, yeah, I mean, there are, it, it can be a Metrovania. It doesn't have to be a good Metroidvania, right? Negative. It isn't. Yeah, so. <laughs> that, so that's the thing. That they're not. <laughs> yeah. Worst default joypad. Like, again, this is like, you, you could just do control F, you know, and uh, find and replace all, and you would pretty much. Uh, have panned a bunch. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, let, let, let's punch it, Chewy. Coming up next, Moo. Would you ever run a go? The end has come once again. I mean, the year has only started, so look forward to another 52 episodes of uh, Linux Gamecast. The Mayans um, sucked at math. <laughs> the Mayans well, predicted 51 this, more. and that's why they all left <laughs> in their spaceship. <laughs> Now that you pointed out the bad mass, okay, 50, 51 more episodes, because this is 1 plus 51, that's 52. I can do math, shut up. <laughs> um, can you, yeah. though? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> no promises. You put me l- on the spot, l- l- and l- my math's probably l- go out the window. List, list <laughs> all the prime numbers, Pedro. Okay. About that, do we consider one as a prime number? After all, it is divisible by itself, and one. One, one is not a prime number. This is a solved thing. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, five, seven. <laughs> We're going to be here all night. <laughs> I, I, I was, I was kind of hoping to see how long you would go for it. <laughs> Uh, the, the, there's many prime numbers, but hey, if you'd like to uh, tell us your favorite prime number, by all means, go to linuxgamecast.com. There's a contact uh, button there. Just fill out the form. It's at the bottom. As long as you don't include any URLs or anything, you're probably safe. Can we just if you uh, do, like, get some hate mail and some feedback on like Google Play apps? Because I was looking for like math games, and, <laughs> and I ran across this gem of a slogan. Are you math enough? Chris, Are you crystal math. math? 
Mm-hmm. Pa- power versus crystal math. <laughs> two math for school. Uh, I'm so math, man. I'm like four two, math. Two, two math, two furious. <laughs> But yeah, no, uh, there's some caveats at the top of the contact form. If you want to promote the thing that you're currently doing, by all means, read the caveats because those do apply to you. Yes. So, uh, yeah, read them. If you don't and then your message doesn't go through, well, that can only blame yourself. What's reading? Power reading is form. hard yeah <laughs> like i wonder like what the, can we even no, 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 i don't want to break the problem um all right so uh <laughs> i was getting ready to punch some shit in to see what happened uh, uh milk the cow writes in about exclusives which we talked about last week because somebody mm-hmm. who's clearly indulging on you know their pcp or PC whatever games yeah, so, so, someone someone's smoking a little too much math uh, and they were talking about like hey that's what the steam deck needs it needs exclusives and you know <laughs> when pc2 comes out like this person was attached uh, the twitter post that they made about that article that got ratioed so bad uh, man <laughs> so milk the cow writes in this idea of Steam Deck having exclusives is laughably stupid for a number of reasons, but more because if you think about it, it's a PC. So just by virtue of existing, it has the most exclusives because most PC games are not on consoles. Mobile would like a word with you, but <laughs> I, I, I agree with the sentiment, and I don't think anyone is... Um, vying for exclusives on the steam deck because that was a stupid article pc games and what the hell <laughs> it was a slow news day they needed to fill up some space um uh, con- can- con- contra- there's no such thing as bad press right well Dri- that's the other thing you, you can imagine somebody's like hey uh, poke the internet get some traffic to the site oh yeah. done <laughs> no such thing as bad press it's all it's all engagement yeah there's, there's no way i mean you know that is like call it what you want i mean steam deck is a personal computer running linux and uh and app, it just so happens to work very well as a portable games console go mm-hmm. figure it does the thing they set it out to do in the first place yep. amazing it's, uh, <laughs> uh, it's like they had practice. Uh, hmm. they, they, they they did. They fucked yeah. up. They they failed hard the first time around. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. they kind of you know undercut all of their business partners well, by releasing the thirty dollar Steam Link. They they kind of <laughs> let their business hardware partners take some bullets for them. They're like, all yeah. right, let's let's go look at the carnage. Um, hmm. <laughs> so they had to make it themselves, and you know what? They did it themselves. And I said this before. Anything Valve ships, it's Valve stuff. Like no matter what it is, I mean it quality might, yeah. might not be good yeah. as a yeah, thing it may, but, it may, it may it's well land, made. but yeah it's like yeah lot. look look at look at artifact like nobody liked artifact you can't say that artifact was a lazy game like that was well thought out it was if designed. anything it was over designed yeah. <laughs> yeah but like yeah like it, 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 it wasn't a cheap low effort thing like valve clearly tried to make it it, something it like, wasn't like that co-opted yeah. battle chess thing that they ruined uh, uh, auto chess <laughs> yeah that that was up for a solid three months. <laughs> so, yeah. What the fuck is this? I tried to play it. I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing here, man. It, it, like, it's it's, makes it's no an sense. idle game. It's it's an idle game. That's Dude, literally it's supposed it. to be like those fighting games that you see on mobile a lot. That you just assemble a team of things and you let it play out. It, Gr- gratuitous space battles. It was basically yeah. vampire survivors with less interaction. <laughs> At least vampire survivors is fun. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> oh well, man. Speak, speaking of opinions on games, this next one is from uh, Danson Joe, the guy who shows up for Borderlands Screams periodically. If you want to hear his beautiful voice, he says, Chair acquisition is my favorite segment. Can't That's wait why for you next got week. In, Joe. That's why you got <laughs> in. The Happy chair news. acquisition. The chair. Listen, it's the rules of chair acquisition because we're clearly Ferengi, right? Like, you. you, you Filthy humans, we know all about you. <laughs> Earth, what? darts, atom bombs, root beer, you know, humans. Uh, but yeah, Joe continues and says, Happy New Year to the LGC talent and community. Thanks for all you do, everything you all do. Okay, we don't so, do much. We, uh, we don't do much. Jill and the community. Yeah. We, we don't get anything? No. Um, we, we don't okay. deserve it. All right. Cool. Here, listen, Happy man. New Year, Joe. All, all, all I'm saying is resistance is negotiable. Okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Please. 
Couldn't have cut us any deeper, Joe. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh, dude. Like, no, F- F- Ferengi Borg would just straight up be microtransactions. NFTs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Uh, the Nelson Avenue. And um, yeah, everybody partying with us. And <laughs> the thing about Linux, man, like I've been fucking with it for 30 years. It's never gotten boring. Like there's, there's always, and I just realized something looks vaguely like the state of fucking Texas on the uh, Ferengis. Like, <laughs> I'm well, thinking about the recognition in the human brain. I'm thinking about the prop departments going. Just turn it sideways. No one's ever going to see this in high resolution. Yeah, well, well, welcome back to ADHD cast, you guys. <laughs> <sighs> on that uh, Ferenginis bombshell, let's go ahead. Cue some music. You can always find this nonsense kicking off, pulling out of the nightmare train station because it, it would say train station but it says nightmare train station because it's filled with not cars jeez but drive through as far as the eye dreams. can see <laughs> 830 here live on Twitch each and every week come say hi if you get a chance listen to us after fact that's awesome want to get a hold of me super easy to get a hold to hyper accessible I'm on the Twitters at Vinstone I'm on our mastodon mass.lenysteamcast.com at Vin. Uh, you can get a hold of me just at Ven and IRC. I'm Venmints on Twitch. I'm just Ven in our Discord. I'm always around. I'm really easy to get a hold of. I'm Damon Bach, and I'm going to get revenge on Picard for blowing up my son, even though he blew himself up. Wow. Follow me on Twitter <laughs> at The Burning Fool, Mastodon at, mas- at Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com or twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. Huh. Well, I suppose you can always find me on ElonNet at unaccounted4, F-O-U-R. Or I technically do have a um, Mastodon account, but I don't really go that very often. I mostly lurk when I do. You can follow me, but there, there's nothing there. It's at uh, unaccounted4 at... L- l- um, just like Patreon's Mas- break, there's nothing there. Yeah. <laughs> he feeds himself too, man. I'm proud of him. <laughs> Look, it's, it's four thirty in the morning. <laughs> Let's roll some credits. Oh yeah! <laughs> Next, you'll say that Disney is just a profit-motivated company and nothing else. How dare you, you sir? shut your whore mouth? How dare what? you? Some big greedy company. This we got to thank family. our advisors, uh, Omegas, our Theron. We got to thank our executive producers. Scott, Mark Bramp, Scott Bichette, Topic Ass, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, George, Pebble, Tomaz, Unoid, and Hakim, and our little Nicky fans, Super Death Stoat, and only Super Death Stoat. And the Sea Monsters, Renault, Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin, Frost, Claude, Nubbin, David, Darkwing, System T, Denzing Joe, and Ogie One. Almost got it through in one breath. Hey man, plenty of Death Notes, <laughs> Nova, Basil, Chad, Romero, Marson, Rene, Leonardo, Dak, Kim, Smash, Chris, still in G, still in G, yes, back still, still in G, G. And, uh, Doom, <laughs> Game Jeeves. of Tron, Dodger, Xanthorus, Foxy, Spine, Oil of Hope, Jalad, and Alex. Wow, the Chairlings, Jason, Lord Maka, AJ, Brock, Chris, Craig, Schmeschel, Reginald, <laughs> Alan, Dorothy, Ranger, Colin, Colson, Jonas, Zeno, Daniel, Steve AJ, and Steve Oil B. of Hope, Strider, <laughs> Secret Egg, Livet, Oh, hi, Mark, AJ, Strider. Respect, Love. Yeah, I'll these Standing cannibals. Carl, Mike, Arthur, Linux New, all the years, not bless, John, Who? Chef, Game of Tron, and of course, you know it. That's right, it's on loop. Deal with it. <laughs> uh wizards of the ghost don't sue us bro listen we're not we're not doing any ogl stuff we're fine hush drizzle oh man shit we should add some like dnd mass <laughs> so, uh the the uh, the the only edition had a good one where it's like uh wizards of the coast new license claim means that they own all mmo characters named drizzle <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, like- one Who is the, the drizzle? drizzle. <laughs> Someone made actually actually a while ago made a really cool like five dudes. <laughs> <laughs>